Hey YouTube, today uh, today we're gonna be working on a 71 Mach 1 here. It's got 351 Cleveland, uh, runs and drives perfect. I just put a new tr uh, re fresh rebuilt transmission in it, but unfortunately I've developed a really bad rear main seal leak, which sucks. And I'm gonna do everything I can to replace this rear main seal without having to take the engine out of the, out of the car. Cause simply I just don't want to. Um, let's jack this car up and see what we got going on. Now that we're under the car, I can show you what's going on where the rear main seal is leaking. Uh, really it leaks, it doesn't leak at idle, only leaks when you're driving down the road or driving the car for some time. Uh, you can see here's the oil that's on the ground and you can see the oil coming right in between the bell housing and this plate coming right out that weep hole. Uh, it's getting all over the transmission, all over the exhaust. It's, uh, it's really making a mess of things and it's, it's pretty much unbearable to drive. So we're gonna go ahead and take the oil pan off, uh, see what we can get, see what we can look at, get going on here. I ended up having to take the sway bar off so I could move the pan a little bit further forward. Now we're going to take the rear main cap off. Let me just show you, now that the main cap's off, there's the old seal. They didn't clock the rear main seal correctly. You're supposed to put it so it has about a quarter inch on one side. So that's the problem, idiots. All right, when you're doing a rear main seal, uh, you just need to punch the old rear seal out. Um, you can use a punch. I don't have my punch kit with me. I left over my father's house. So I'm going to have to use a flat has, or a Phillips screwdriver. There's, there's metal inside of the rear main seal. So it kind of, it's kind of stiff. So just, what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm just punching one side and it's coming out the other side. So I just need to punch it far enough to where I can grab, grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers and pull it out. You see, I just punched one end and pulled it out on this end. Now I can get a pair of pliers in there and just slowly pull it out. Same thing, same way it goes back in. Just lubricate it with a bunch of oil and put it in. I'll show you that in a little bit. Where I can grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers. You just wanna slowly pull. You really don't wanna try and break the seal. There is a piece of metal inside the seal, so it is a little bit rigid. It goes out, comes out just like that. Okay, when you go to put your new rear main seal in, there is a specific way it has to go in. There's a groove, and that groove has to go toward the engine. Uh, you can see on the other side that groove is not in there, but toward the toward where the engine oil comes from, this groove needs to be pointed that way. We are using Felpro Gasket BS40042. Uh, you can get it just about anywhere online. I chose Amazon, seemed to be the cheapest choice. 
Uh, it was about 12 bucks next day shipping. You want to make sure it's well lubricated so it doesn't bind up and slides right in. Now that this is installed in the block, I'm going to work on the main cap. Uh, what I did is here is I already installed the seal and uh, where it's protruding out of the block a little bit, I did measure it. Uh, and I used this measurement here and I made sure the seal was, was, uh, was the same distance there and as you can see, it's the same distance here. Uh, some manufacturers have different specifications. Uh, what I do recommend doing is putting a little bit of Permatex or some kind of uh, silicone RTV at the end of at the end of the main seal here, and also a real small amount on the edge of the main cap. This is a machine surface, so a small amount will go a long way. Um, uh, that this is just to ensure that oil doesn't go around the uh, the uh, main seal and cause some type of oil leak. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in. Uh, make sure you torque your main bolts up to manufacturer specifications. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the oil pan back on, uh, button it up, take it for a test drive, make sure there's no leaks. Uh, but as you can see, I was able to do my two-piece rear main seal uh, without taking the engine out. Uh, so if I could do it, anybody could do it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, uh, I hope to put more content up. So if you could hit the subscribe button, I'd appreciate it.